anytime it drops, you're gonna wanna pull it. Yep, just like that. Oh man, I got a rocket of a rainbow. What's up guys and welcome back to another fishing video. It is about 7.30 a.m. on a Thursday morning. We just had the sun rise over police. Absolutely beautiful as we were blowing up the water master. Piper is with me as always. We're gonna do a policeman's flats to McKinnon float. It's gonna take us about eight and a half hours if I'm not mistaken. Now by the time this video comes out, it might have been the last opportunity for you guys to pull out of McKinnon Flats. I just saw a notice that uh, they're redoing the road. So unfortunately, no more floats from Police to Mac. So I'm gonna get one last one in. Hopefully we get into some awesome fish today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel guys, make sure to do so. Hit that like button on this video and let's just get right into it. Right off the bat on this run again, but I didn't bring my net. I don't know how big this thing is. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, tipped me right over. Holy sh a nice fish come on am I gonna have to land him without a net oh fuck. hook bent open and uh, the fish got off as you could see in that slow-mo it was a really nice fish too and of course I try to use a hook that's been bent open and back a few times because it's my lucky one, but of course I lose a fish because I don't use a new one. One of my biggest tips for just landing fish in the morning, put some worms on. It's cold, they're not moving, but it's a delicious snack for them, so. They're gonna be bouncing around the bottom, but it's exactly where you want them to be. Anytime it drops, you're gonna wanna pull it. Yep, just like that. There we go. There we go, baby. Oh yeah, we got a nice one. He's running. Oh, he woke up. Piper, it is f***ing hard to move this thing with you on it. Oh, not again. Oh my f***. I mean, I think I'm close enough to police to just hike back. All right, we need to move on. It's too much bad luck for that spot. We need to go actually net some fish. Hey, flip. All right, the persistence pays off. Got ourselves a cute little fish. Piper would get out of the way. All right, first little rainbow. It's a cute one, hey, Pip? Kiss it. Kiss it, it's good luck. Now we'll get more hunt. Where the minnows are hiding, that's for sure. Just a little, uh, little bucket that there's a few hiding in. I just thought I'd pass it over before I move on. It almost looks like the exact same fish. A little bit chubbier. Found the bucket, found three minnows. Wow, what a video this is gonna be today. 
Oh man, I got a rocket of a rainbow, as you can see. A little hopper dropper action. Oh man, there's two huge ones right here. What is going on? Come on. Monster! Oh my god! We just landed it! Whoo! Yes, baby! Now that is a tank! Holy f That is one of the largest fish I caught in this Bow River. Look at the size of that thing! Oh, and he took a caddis! pupa as you guys can see let me get this camera off my head oh i'm out of breath that was a three minute fight buddy a little pupa in the roof of his mouth wow set this up oh. Now this is absolutely beautiful. Just awestruck in my own backyard. Honestly, such a beautiful place. There's no wind right now. The sun is absolutely pumping. And uh, we're bouncing along the bottom here. Oh. And to just put the cherry on top, we got a little jumper. They're uh, keen on to the caddis pupa. That's what I've been getting. Oh, there we go. It's okay. They're, uh, yeah, keying on to this little tiny thing right here. This little pupa. Ourselves another little rainbow on the hopper dropper. There we go, little rainbow. So that one I clicked on after the fact, but I saw him rising to Caddis up over there, just this small guy here. Obviously that's not a caddis on there, but I do have a caddis pupa right under. So it was pretty cool to just toss it right over him and watch him take that. It's nothing huge, but a uh, nice little fight. Little caddis cedar. There you go, buddy. Piper, you ready for some more? I mean, I am trying with this hopper imitator, but they're just not into the hoppers today. We're into the droppers, baby. The little caddis. What a beautiful, beautiful rainbow. 
on the dry and I lost it. Of course I did. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, that was such a nice take. We're on again. This one's a little bigger. It's a nicer one though. They are keyed on to this. Come on. Oh, fuck. come on. Uh, just put your head up. That's a nicer fish. Did I say you could jump off? That is a nicer fish for sure. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, and there's why I lost them all. Because debarbed hooks come out just like that. As soon as he's in the net. And that's again, hopper dropper. That little caddis nymph, amazing. Definitely not as fat as the uh, other hog, but it's definitely a long one. Settle down. Nice fish. Look at the uh, white tips. All right, guys. Made it to McKinnon. Oh, and right in front of us, there's another 10 incher rising. So that uh, that concludes our fly fishing trip for today. Fortunately, we lost some big ones. We landed some big ones. It was just one of those days where. Oh, look at all those little fish in front of us. It was just one of those days where. Sometimes it doesn't go your way, but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and until next time guys, tight lines.